Hello everybody, hope you're all fine. Well, the rain stopped. That's a plus, isn't it? Right, I've got to get this done pretty quick, so I want to be under six minutes. So, as you can see here, we have a vintage guitar. This is, if I can get you to focus, yeah, there you go, E9. So that's 89. So this is a Strat Plus Deluxe. And as you can see, it's got the graphite colored tuners, the roller nut. I think it's a Wilkinson, as in Trevor Wilkinson rolling up. Locking, as you can see there, locking tuners. One's a bit gunked up with a bit of grease, but that part from that's about it. And if I come to there, E92. Now, if I come down here, this is the best playing, not the looking, not the most expensive. This is the best playing guitar. So I think I've got silver, silver, blue on the lace sensors there. Silver, silver, blue. You can see, not recessed, because this is an old one. And this, I thought, was a replacement, but this is a perloid. <coughs> I would call it a red, wouldn't you? A red? Yeah. This is a perloid pickup, which is quite rare. But they did this as a little fancy thing to sell them. Like, you know. So it is original. There you go. This one's got TBX, and it comes in around about 7. So if I put it about to there, it comes in around about 8 TBX. Just so you know. Uh, this one's a little wobbly, but it's still there. These were original, that's original. And uh, the trem arm has gone missing. I'll tell you about it in a second. So it was original trem arm that's gone missing. That's my setup there. It is a floating trem. I won't do it, but you can see if I come into it, it's slightly floating. Slightly floating. Uh, but it needs tune up. So you can see it's down at the moment. It needs tune up. So as soon as I tune it up, when I tune it up, that will bring it up. So when I tune the guitar up fully, that will bring the trim up a little bit. Because it's not been tuned properly at the moment. That's my setup there. And as you can see, she is wall wounded. So I've got a dent there. I've got, I think that's dust, I don't know. I've got a little dent there. I think I've got a line. There you go, I've got a line just there. Uh, and I think that's nearly about it. I may, may maybe... Some bits in it rubs off. Sometimes I get a bit and it just rubs off, you know. And I think there's a tiny bit of a dent there. But this is 36 years old, getting on for locking tuners. As you can see, they're still in place. And it plays absolutely gorgeous. And the 5 way selector is here's also the correct tip. But yeah, this pit guard is a bit special. They did a pearl eye one and they did this one. This is a fancy one. So I've had this a long while. I've had this about a decade. So I've had it quite a while. I've just see some bits there. Again, I'm going through a camera. No, they're gone. That's it, they're gone. Right, so this is a really good guitar, and it's what they call, uh, 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 I'll call it a trick guitar. So it's really good. So I'm three minutes, one seconds. Right, let's shut up. Next. This case, you won't recognise. Now, this case here, it's upside down, obviously, guys. But this case is for this guitar here. But it isn't. It isn't. And what I mean is, it isn't for this guitar. It's for this guitar, and you're going to go, what is he bloody on about? Now, I don't know if I can get it to stay up. I'm going to try, because it tends to fall down a lot. But if I just whiz it up, da -da! another one. And there's my trem arm. So, yeah, I know what you're going to say. You've nicked the trem arm. So I've got to get another trem arm for this one. But I've nicked, I've nicked that trem arm. I've nicked that trem arm, which is original. It's an original trem arm. And I've nicked it from this one, and it's going in this one. And as you can see over here, there's my lay sensors, um, and there you go, they're slightly different, so I've got, I think I've got red, silver, blue, so I think that's red, that's silver, that's blue, so it's before the gold one, so red, red, silver, blue, and uh, by the way, that's just a bit of dirt there, so that bit there will actually pick up there, so don't worry about that. Right, no fret wear on this, this has got the 7 uh, TBX, original, this has got the plain white pit guard. See, three. And if I come into here, three. So white, black, white. So this has got a plain white one. They did one. This is a sunburst. It has got some knots in it. I'm not sure how serious, but I think there's a knot. There's some knots in it here and there. There you go. There's a bit of a knot there. There's a bit of a knot there. They didn't bother too much about those. Uh, right, so come over here. And here comes the killer bit. So this is, you'll laugh. I know it's upside down. But yeah, E. E96. So this is 89 as well. So this is E96 and mine is E92. So can you see E96 and it's got the graphite tuners 
and of course they're locking as you can see there they're locking tuners uh, and yet there you go e96 and it's the other one is e92 so what i was going to do and there you go there's your rolling up and there's your wilkinson trevor wilkinson roll, roll up. i'm saying trevor wilkinson because i think he invented it but you can call me out and tell me if i'm wrong but i think it was trevor wilkinson and there is some fretware so can you see there's a bit of fretware just there and there and there so if i can point to my finger there's a bit of fretware just there a bit of fretware just there and i think there's a bit of fretware there and there so i've only got one two uh three four so he obviously didn't cut his nails and if you look at my nails my nails are always cut see that my nails are always cut my nails are like that so it's just the tip of my nail and that saves your fretboard or fingerboard uh, anyway right so this one plays absolutely beautiful and i bought it from a place called Aylesbury music in Aylesbury in buckingham buckingham Shear, that is we're 604 and i was going to sell this one which as you can see is e92 you see e9263 i was going to sell this one to pay for this one but here comes the killer bit. I've just pulled this out, guys, and played it. And I'll, I've, I've told you already it's a bit flat. But, God, it's good. So what should I do? Okay, thank you. I'll look at your comments. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And I've got more air guitars, about 30 of them. Bye-bye.